My name's Lucy Bradley and I'm an opera director and director of The Flying Dutchman. The thing that drew me to creating a new version of The Flying Dutchman is that it's a piece that I've always been interested in. I've um, you know, listened to it and loved it for about 10 years. Um, and I suppose more recently I've been thinking about how, um, how I want to mix my political interests and my ecological interests and the opera that I make. Um, and The Flying Dutchman feels like it is a piece that tells a story that, that is very relevant to today. Um, so I suppose my, yeah, I was initially drawn to the music of it and as I thought more and more about it, it felt that um, the story at the heart of it, which is about looking for safe passage and a person who, who wants to find safe harbour, um, that's about belonging and home, uh, it feels very relevant and an important story to explore. I hoped that this R&D would be informative. Um, we had a long list of questions that we were going to try and approach within this time. Um, I, the big question was about the van, how we work with them and what we could expect of them. Um, I, I have worked with, obviously I've worked with a lot of instrumentalists before, largely they've been in a pit. Um, Sometimes I've worked with them and they've been on stage and, and we've explored that presence a little, but this has been something completely different. So to have a, a group of players who were so up for adventure and play and um, testing, trying out ideas on their feet with their instruments has just been like no other process really. And it makes me feel incredibly excited about what's to come because I think this group can be a chorus and an ensemble and group of storytellers and they're just fantastic to watch. I have been surprised by the, the, the power of the piece. Um, I think especially coming back post pandemic or well, wherever we are with the pandemic, um, it, it has felt incredibly you know, wonderful and inspiring to be with this group of collaborators. And so I was surprised at how moved I was by that. I suppose I felt a bit of trepidation at the beginning of not the uncertainty. Um, and the other thing is about the willingness for everybody to leap off the cliff with me and to you know, sit in a place of uncertainty and discomfort and pushing ourselves past comfort barriers. And that has been remarkable. What frightens me about the project is a responsibility to the story and to the kind of the political story that we're that we're exploring through this version of it. Um, I suppose I feel an awareness of representing people's experiences uh, in a way that is sensitive and um, and an important thing to do, but without feeling like I am trying to tell anyone else's story. I suppose that's about ownership and feeling like. I suppose there's a question in me about my ownership of this material. Um, one of my fears about the piece is about working with Wagner. It's the first time that I have done. Um, and, and I suppose as, uh, as somebody who's come to opera later in life and through a kind of theatre direction, it does feel a little intimidating that it's uh, an area of opera that I've never been before. Um, and because we're reimagining and you know, discovering new things about it, I, that feels a bit scary, but it's also why I'm really excited about this project. I think that this version of, of The Flying Dutchman will be a piece of kind of pure storytelling opera, which is not something I've seen a huge amount of, and that feels really exciting to me. Um, and so by that I mean we've got this kind of ensemble who are going to be telling the story, becoming the characters, um, bringing this piece to life. Um, and I think that it will feel very direct and that it will feel as a contemporary kind of um, setting, it will feel resonant to audiences now. So I hope that it will be interesting and invigorating and inspiring to people who maybe haven't experienced Wagner before and who might feel possibly intimidated by it.